Hey guys, Rowan here, and today, we're gonna count down the tw any reasons why Spider-Man and the Powerpuff Girls movie are the same movie. Both are released in 2002, both are a superhero genre, both are an origin story, and both have the main characters in the title. The movie gets narrated by a voice actor for the film. Also, the narrator is a male. Superheroes always get their superpowers, so the girls get them from a chemical, and Peter gets his from an insect. The bad guy gets powers with something green to become a green machine. Well, it's impossible for an animal to get powers. The main character practices some power practice inside of their house, which they find very easy. No superpowers at school, kids, because the good guys use their powers at school before they were a hero. Life ain't too tough. The good guys run around their city of birth with powers while the girls play tag, and Peter practice jumping over buildings. There's a female character getting terrorized by a group of gangsters before someone could save her. Also, it took place in the rain. There was someone that the girl hoped to save her from a gang, and a guy attacks them. However, Mojo was evil and Peter was good. It's just cruel to see the superhero getting hated by the entire city. The girls are hated because they crashed Townsville, and the Green Goblin put a mind control on New York. The main antagonists read something bad about their city, and they think of an evil plan to get the main character to join them. It's a blonde woman who wanted the good guy to save their baby from dangerous situations. Coincidentally, both were courtesy of the bad guy. It was a daring rescue mission about a loved one of a hero being kidnapped by the bad guy and taken to a secret place that they will never find. The guy has a hard time trying to get the townspeople to stay safe from the disaster in the city, especially the one with Buttercup and the dog. No superhero final battle is epic without night skies. I just like final battles taking place at night. It's very shocking to see everyone's favorite hero getting owned by the baddie. The good guys become tired until later. He starts kicking the baddie's butt about what they say to him, which shows very good emotion. The entire city spreads love to their saviors and claims them to be a hero. Suddenly, the superhero stops a pair of thieves trying to rob people. The main good guys get a free sword at the end of the movie, which results of flying. Do you agree? Yes, no, maybe? Leave your thoughts below and request two movies that I should compare in the